Hey guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. Crews continue to prepare the orbital launch mount for the upcoming Starship test flight mission. We could see more steel plates added to the OLM which I discussed in my last video. As for the rocket, Booster 7 still remains on the stand near the orbital launch mount and the ship is still at the rocket garden. The last few missing tiles on S24 were installed last week. And recently, crews could be seen working on the ship. Could they be working on the flight termination system prior to launch? What do you think? Starship S26 was moved to the rocket garden on Sunday night as the space in the Starship ring yards is a bit congested. Hopefully, engine installation could be done there. This week is going to be a super space week. Four different rockets are set to launch from three different continents. Tomorrow, Rocket Lab will launch its third mission of the year, nicknamed the Beat Goes On mission. An Electron rocket will launch two of Black Sky's Gen 2 Earth imaging satellites from Pad B at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in Mahia, New Zealand at 9.30 p.m. local time or 4.45 a.m. Eastern time. This will be Rocket Lab's third mission of the year and the 35th mission overall. This time, the first stage booster of the rocket will be recovered from the ocean by a recovery vessel. It is a part of Rocket Lab's recovery and reuse program. Relativity Space is also looking to reattempt to launch its 3D printed rocket, Terran 1, for a third time. The first two attempts were scrubbed due to hardware issues on the rocket. The weather is looking 90% favorable for launch. Are we going to see the world's largest 3D printed object fly tomorrow? Come and join here to watch the launch here on this channel. On the 24th, SpaceX is targeting to launch another Starlink mission from SLC-40 at Cape. India is also catching up with other countries with its commercial launch service program. On Sunday, the Indian Space Research Organization will launch its second commercial mission of launch vehicle Mark III rocket. The medium lift launch vehicle which is developed by ISRO will launch 36 OneWeb satellites into orbit. Liftoff is currently scheduled at 9 a.m. IST from the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharakota in Andhra Pradesh. This mission will also mark the launch of the final batch of the OneWeb Gen 1 Low Earth Orbit constellation of satellites. Let me tell you one interesting fact about this rocket. LVM-3 rocket was primarily designed to launch satellites to geosynchronous orbit but the launch vehicle is now human-rated and is expected to launch India's first crewed mission next year. Testing of the different components of the rockets for the human spaceflight program is underway. Before the crewed mission, a few test flight missions are planned to launch in the coming months. It is great to see India stepping up their game in the space industry. Well, that was it for this video. Thank you for watching once again. See you in the next live stream.